It seems to defy the laws of physics, but its origin is of this earth, the SLS AMG, made in Affalterbach, Germany. The secret of the super sports car lies in the sum of its parts, and this is the man responsible for it all. Dr. Frank Emhart, head of development of the SLS AMG. The experts consistently pursued one goal, weight reduction. Mercedes-Benz TV presenter Kilian Reichert went in search of the SLS AMG's lost kilos. Dr. Emhard, you've made reductions and in this regard you can certainly say that less really is more. That's right. The weight for us was extremely important. A sports car must be light, it must be fleet of foot, as a result it can't weigh too much. The key to success, intelligent lightweight design. In order to carry out a diet successfully, you must set yourself a meaningful goal, and this is what we all work towards achieving. This project had no predecessor model where you could have said, OK, we'll take away X percent and that'll do. No, we went through everything part by part in order to reach the goal of 1,620 kilos, a goal which we reached successfully. A completely new body shell was developed because for the first time, chassis and body are made of aluminum. The space frame alone weighs only 241 kilograms and nevertheless offers the rigidity of a conventional steel structure. The effect, a power to weight ratio of 3.86 kilos per kilowatt. So you took on the weight issue, but how did you actually do this? With this engine, the crankcase is made completely out of aluminum. That saved us approximately four kilos. We changed over all the screws from steel to aluminum, which brought us a weight saving of 600 grams, and you can feel that. The SLS AMG's total concept is based on lightweight materials, not only aluminum, but also magnesium and carbon fiber. The combination of intelligent shaping and innovative production methods paved the way to a super sports car. However, some weight remains. How is the weight allocated in the SLS AMG? It was important to distribute the weight evenly in the vehicle. For example, we placed our engine behind the front axle. So we have a front mid-engine and we put the transmission at the back. In order for the engine and transmission to be rigidly connected, there's a further advantage known as the torque tube. This contains the drive shaft, which transfers the engine speed to the transmission. At the end, we reached a weight distribution of 47 to 53 percent, and with that achieved the vehicle characteristics which you would expect from a super sports car. Therefore, weight isn't just a bad thing then. No, weight used in the right place is actually a very good thing. The SLS AMG does conform to the laws of physics then, after all. Even so, you're still left with the question, is it still a car?